In this video training session, we are going to discuss the Google Local Business Center, better known as Google Maps. In my opinion, Google Maps is one of the most powerful free marketing tools available today for local businesses to increase your internet presence. In this training session, we're going to discuss what are the top three keywords that new patients use when searching for an orthodontic treatment provider on the internet, and how to test your website to determine if you are indexing correctly on Google Maps. If you'll notice, I've already typed in the word orthodontist, which is the number one keyword for consumers when looking for an orthodontic treatment provider. The keyword is orthodontist. It is not orthodontics. The second word is braces. And the third highest keyword is the branded name Invisalign. And if you notice, the second word I've typed in is the name of the town in which the practice is located. I've chosen Pittsburgh, New York. This is the area that I'm from and I'm most familiar with all these doctors that are showing and the surrounding areas. You'll also notice that I did not type in the state even though it says Pittsburgh, New York down here. In some areas it does require your typing in the state, especially if there's more than one town or city in the country. Google Maps will sometimes require the state to be put in. The map will not show unless you type it in there. You'll only be able to determine that after you start searching in your own local area. If you look at this, you'll notice that 10 orthodontists are listed here. These are 10 orthodontists in the local area. There are um, actually 40 orthodontists in the local area. But these are the first 10 that show up on Google Maps. When you go in to test your site, you're going to look for your practice name. If it doesn't show up, I suggest you go up to the top here, just above the word Google. Um, the fourth word in is called Maps. You click on Maps. And what you can do is you can go through and determine where exactly your website is positioning or your name if you don't have a website. You'll notice a few of them have pictures here. This is because they've taken advantage of the Google Local Business Center and uploaded photographs. You are allowed to upload 10 photographs and actually 5 videos in their marketing program. More names. And as you go through, there's actually 5 pages of practices listed here. It's very important that you look to determine if you're listed. If you're not listed, in order to become listed, you have to tell Google that you are out there. As far as they're concerned, you are invisible. And the way to do that is to activate your Google Local Business Map Center program. If you find that you are not listed or you're not coming up exactly the way that you should be, if you contact me, I will be very happy to uh, meet you online for a free half-hour consultation, and we can discuss how we can increase your Internet presence. Now, as we go through here, you'll notice that uh, the first one is Get It Straight Orthodontics. The second one is Scott Stein, and his says maps.google.com. And whenever you see maps.google.com, that means that there is no website attached to this name. Now, 70% of a consumers go online to gather information about products and services before they make a buying decision. And choosing an orthodontist is a service and the average consumer will definitely go in and try and check your practice out before they pick up the phone and call you, whether they, you were referred by a general dentist, whether you were referred by a friend, or whether or not they're seeking the services of an orthodontist and they really don't know who to start with. This is why the Internet is so powerful today. So when we click on this name, you'll notice we go in, it has his address and his phone number and his fax number, but it does not list his website. And when a consumer is looking for information on the Internet, they're looking for a website. So they're not going to pick up the phone and call this practice. They're going to go on down to the next list and find a competitor that does have a website. Now, unfortunately, I know that this practice does have a website. And it's had a website for a couple years. But unfortunately, Google does, has no idea that he has one. And it is his responsibility to 
inform Google that he has a website. It is not up to Google to um, keep track of everyone's business. This is a free service and they feel it is your responsibility to maintain your business. And there is a program that you can set up to take care of all of this. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to type in the next keyword which is braces and you'll notice when I do that that the map slightly changes and the names shift and this is because the Google Maps is also tied to the keyword coding of your website. If your website is not search engine optimized correctly for all the major keywords it will affect your positioning on Google Maps and I'm going to type in the third word which is Invisalign if I can spell it and as we do that you'll notice that only two show up and this is one practice with two different locations uh, normally there's usually three that show up. If you go below here, you'll notice that Get It Straight Orthodontics, which is usually number one in Pittsburgh, even though it is keyword coded for Invisalign, for some reason today it is not showing up on the Invisalign map, which it normally does. And this is a great example of showing you that Google has a mind of its own. Even if you're not showing up on one day, you may show up on the next. Um, it also may not show all ten. Some days it will only show three and you might not be one of the three. What you need to be concerned is that the majority of the time your practice is showing up in the top ten. It doesn't matter what position it's in. Uh, Google determines positioning not by click-through rate like it does down here in the organic section. It determines it by location um, and randomly will often shift these names around. Your goal is to be in the one of the ten on page one of Google Maps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the keywords to a local t surrounding town. And I'm going to add, um, which is Orthodontist Victor. And when I click on it here, you'll notice that Google Maps does not show up. However, when I do type the state of New York, the map does show up. And we'll bring it down here. And you'll notice here that the names look different. Get it straight now is in the D position instead of the A position. Its second location is showing up now in the F position. Uh, Camella Orthodontics also has two locations and there's new and different names in here. And you'll notice that Get It Straight is showing up even though its main location is in Pittsburgh, its website is showing up in a surrounding town due to its keyword optimization. As you go up to the top here, you'll notice that um, there's Camella Orthodontics, which is the number one. They actually have a practice in Victor. Usually, if the practice is located in the town, they will um, automatically search into the number one spots. Your goal with your website is that you're in on the, one of the top ten positions organically on the um, page here, plus on the Google Maps in the towns. I'm going to change the keyword to braces just to show you one more example of how all this changes. Again, all of these names changed. Um, they're in a different mixture. A couple new ones show up. But this is the way you test to see if your website is showing up correctly on Google Maps. So what I'd like you to do is make a list of all your surrounding areas that you want to market to on a regular basis. Go in using all three keywords to see if your website is showing up on page one Google Maps. Also check to make sure that your website is listed correctly, your address is listed correctly, and your phone numbers. Google is not infallible and I have seen instances where mistakes have been made. Uh, there was one practice I worked with, instead of it clicking into their website, it clicked into the local fire department. These are things that you need to make sure that are working correctly. Also, you need to go in and check your reviews. Make sure they're positive reviews and not negative reviews. 
If a consumer goes in and is reading a poor review, they will immediately click out of your site and go on to your competitor. There are marketing campaigns that can be implemented to counteract poor reviews and it is almost impossible to get a bad review off of Google Maps, even if totally unfounded. I will be offering future video training on other aspects of internet marketing, so please look for these videos either on my blog, www.orthopreneur.com, or YouTube, or different areas of the internet.